Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Shutterstock contributors and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question I've been getting a lot recently on my other video. And that is how do you upload an image or a picture into your Shutterstock contributor profile? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to upload an image into your contributor profile? Well, that's pretty easy. As you know, the more images that get accepted and the more videos that get accepted into your Shutterstock profile, the better chance you have of making sales. Whatever the case is, is a pretty easy process and it's actually handled here in the Shutterstock contributor app. It's this red and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Shutterstock contributor app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened my Shutterstock contributor app. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you want to upload an image into your Shutterstock account, you need to click on this upward arrow down here on the bottom right. Once you click there, you're going to see this red button called start here. This is where you can go ahead and upload a picture into your Shutterstock contributor account. Okay. So once you click there, you will automatically see the albums inside of your phone. So you can easily just scroll through and then look for the image that you would like to upload into your Shutterstock account. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and choose this little art museum right here. Once you've done that, then you want to click on this blue add button here on the top, right? Okay. You can see that it starts uploading this image into your Shutterstock contributor account immediately. You need to wait for it. And then once it's done uploading it, it gets has done here, you just click on the image. So this is pretty important here. When you are uploading a picture into your Shutterstock contributor account, you definitely want to add in a good description. You want to maximize the keywords categories because this is going to help you show up in search for this particular image. So let me go ahead and just type in a description. Okay. I went ahead and typed in the description. I tried to put in as many keywords that I think people might search for. Next, I'm going to put in the keywords. Once you click on there, it's going to give you a few suggestions for keywords. So we'll do architecture and then I'm just going to type in one Mexico. Mexico and then Mexico City. Okay, I'm just gonna put in five, but you definitely wanna to try to use all seven if you possibly can, as long as they are related. And then categories, we'll click on there and then we'll just do the arts and then maybe I'll put in holidays. Click on done. Okay, so these you wanna be sure to check them off if they apply, that way you don't get kicked off of the Shutterstock contributor platform. If you have a release, then you're gonna go ahead and click there and then upload the release. If all that looks good to you and you still wanna go ahead and upload this picture into your Shutterstock contributor profile, scroll down and click on this button button here called submit. It looks like they have changed. So you do need to enter in a minimum of seven keywords. So I'm going to go back in and I'll just choose a couple of extra keywords that are suggested and click on done. And then I'll go to submit. Okay. So now it moves into pending. So now we're just going to need to wait for Shutterstock to go ahead and review that photo that we uploaded into our contributor platform. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to upload a picture or a photo into your Shutterstock contributor account, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.